Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we are reviewing a brand new bourbon whiskey from the one, the only, Dixon Deadman. After leaving Kentucky Owl last year, everybody was wondering what Dixon was up to. Was he going to come out with another whiskey brand? Was he going to take that stoley money like Forrest Gump and never have to worry about money again? Was he going to start his own fishing equipment company called Dixon Rods? Was he going to start his own plumbing company, Dixon Drains? Was he going to take an apprenticeship in hopes of one day becoming a master electrician, starting his own electrician company, Dixon Outlets? Was he going to start his own fruit of the month club called Dixon Fruit Bowls? Rumor on the street was he was thinking about opening his own clothing fastener business called Dixon Zippers. I once heard that he actually did find the original recipe for Kentucky Owl inside a book left by his great-great-grandfather. And in the same book was a patent for a device designed to exterminate rodents. And if Dixon were to bring that back, rumor has that he was going to start Dixon Mousetraps. I saw that someone by the last name Deadman in Kentucky received their contractor license. I'm not saying it was him, but when I called the number, I got an answering machine for Dixon Drywall. I don't know, all of those opportunities he must have pushed aside because I blinked twice. And when I opened my eyes, this bad boy was on the market. 2XO The Phoenix Blend by Dixon Deadman. It's the Phoenix Blend, here we have it, by Dixon Deadman. 2XO, two times oak, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 104 proof. America. The Phoenix Blend is the first release in the ongoing Blender series from my new line 2XO, 2 times oak. Each release is unique, created by blending select stocks of my finest barrels and crafted using my double barreling process. Each blend is limited, one of a kind, and has its own story. The Phoenix Blend is my re-entry into the world of bourbon. This is just the beginning. Produced and bottled by Prestige Beverage Group, Louisville, Kentucky. Prestige worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. I'm sure if you got Dixon tipsy enough and asked him where this was sourced from, he probably would give you hints, I'm guessing, but I don't know where this was sourced from, and there is no age statement on the bottle. But the color on it looks fairly dark. That could probably have something to do with the double oaking process. Just, just a guess. Given the Phoenix blend a good SJ, little bit of a swirl job before I give it a nose job. Going in for a nose of Dixon's brand new release. Ooh. This whiskey changes a lot. What happened was this. I shot a video for this a while back and I hadn't edited it yet. Edited it, edited it yet, edited it yet, edited it yet. And then I went back to the bottle later and I got completely different stuff from it. It was like a totally different whiskey, and I was like, good grief, I can't just put that out there. It seems wrong. When you first open the bottle, you get one experience, and every time I come back to it, it's like a different bourbon, which I love. Tonight, it's smelling like a mixed berry jelly, like the one, the Smucker's one that you get at an IHOP, or like even a family breakfast diner that has the purple lid on it that's all the way filled to the top because nobody ever eats the mixed berry jelly because if you look to the left or right of it, there are two empty slots where the strawberry jam goes and everybody ate those but then didn't eat the mixed berry. But if you were to open the mixed berry jelly and smell that, it, it would smell like this. If that container were made out of oak and whiskey. Definite nougat, little golden grams. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The golden gram cereal, well, that's a good note. Little Tootsie Roll, it's not the Tootsie Roll, it's the the fruity or the, the fruit chew. It's like the cousin of the Tootsie Roll. It comes in the same device wrapper, and but it's like the vanilla, the vanilla Tootsie Roll, like the fruit chew or the footsie or fruitsie or whatever they're called. Yeah, like the vanilla Tootsie Roll. That smells so stinking good. Time to put this double oaked bugger into this big old hugger, because I like to hug. It's a thing. That's good. Okay. I know some people don't believe that whiskey changes once it's opened, and I could not disagree with those people more, 
but they're pretty set in their ways. They always say this, it's not the whiskey that changes, it's you that changes. Well, no matter what, something changed between me opening this bottle and now. I liked it a lot when I first opened it, but now either I changed in some dramatic way or this whiskey opened up with air and changed in a dramatic way because I'm dramatically more head over heels for it now. But the palate now is like creamy and like toasty, fruity, friggin' Golden Graham City, baby. Yeah. This might be my favorite double oaked bourbon. The oak is there in, in droves or whatever they're called, in droves. The oak is there in droves but it doesn't taste like extra aged oak, but it also doesn't taste like bitter toasted oak. It's just great oak on a great bourbon. Whatever the base bourbon is, is fantastic and just matches up really well with whatever the heck his proprietary double aging process is. I dig this, I definitely dig it. By the way, this was like 99 bucks, like a hundred dollar bourbon, which is pretty standard for anything that's not Jim Beam white label these days, it seems. I've heard through the grapevine that the whiskey in the bottle isn't actually old, that it's like relatively younger whiskey in here, but you would never guess that by tasting it. So I don't even know if those rumors were true. I think that this tastes like a super solid eight-year-old bourbon. It tastes like an eight-year-old bourbon. The mouth feels fantastic, it's super creamy. The finish is very good. I think this is a great, a great reintroduction to the bourbon industry from Dixon. Keep in mind, I do love Dixon. Dixon is like what I would consider to be a man who I adore. I think we could just sit around a fireplace or just look at each other from across the room and slow talk all night. I say half a sentence, he says half a sentence. We don't finish each other's sentences because we don't know each other that well yet, but we kind of like interrupt each other with weird kind of awkward words that we're just, we don't know if the other person's done talking yet and then we start talking when they're getting their second wind in the middle of their first sentence kind of thing. And I think it would be a great time. I think we would really enjoy that. I think we should probably give it a score. Tonight, I give the Phoenix Blend, Dixon Deadman's first release from 2XO, a score of 8.5. One, it's great. This is a great bourbon. I love it. I'm super happy to have a bottle of it and I can't wait to get a backup. The nose matches right up with the palate. You're getting the same notes off of the nose that you do on the palate and vice versa, except for I think that the palate is probably a little bit sweeter than you would expect from the nose. But other than that, the gram comes through nicely. The Tootsie comes through nicely. There's even like a little bit of like colored Lucky Charms marshmallows, like maybe the greens and the pinks probably kind of in there. There's like a little Lucky Charms marshmallow flavor happening in there. This is a great bourbon. And would I pay $100 for a second one of these? In a heartbeat, in a friggin' heartbeat. If you come across this and love double oaked bourbon, I would say this is a for sure buy. If you don't love double oaked bourbon, but you wanna find one that you do enjoy, I would say that this is definitely a try or buy because I'm not a ginormic fan of double oaked bourbon, but this one is done right. This is double oaked done right. And you can put that on a bottle. World's top whiskey taster says this is double oaked done right. That'd make a heck of a sticker or a heck, heck of a neck tag. That would make a very nice neck tag, Dixon. Just saying. World's top whiskey taster, double oaked done right. That's nice. It's very nice. Now that Dixon has released his first bourbon under the brand 2XO, I would like to swoop in and put an offer in on 2XO. Dixon, I am making this a public offer. I would like to buy your company for, what do I have in my wallet right now? $17. Let's talk. You have my number. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds but your mind on making the best out of any situation. For example, you have to leave home, your home base for a bit, to go visit your wifey in some other area, and like, you're in a different place, in a different area, 
and you're not used to that area, but you bring your camera and your lights and some whiskey to review, and you set it up wherever the heck you have to set it up, and you shoot that review, and you make the most of it. You make the most of it. You make it good. You make it real good. And then when it's all said and done, you just brush off your shoulder, the dandruff, and you're like, no big deal. No sweat off my sack. 